Direct primary care, it, it's primary care, but under a different payment model, basically. It's a, it's a membership or subscription-based model. It's more similar to like a gym uh, payment. You pay a monthly fee, you get unlimited gym services, you don't get charged like per mile on the treadmill or per rep on a dumbbell. Basically it takes away every barrier to care that is currently in the medical market right now. The labyrinth and confusing system of the medical market. I'm accountable to the consumer, and that in this case is the member, and it's only the member. It's not an insurance company. We have to make the consumer happy, and I like that accountability. I think that makes a lot of sense. How healthcare looks now is 100% different to how healthcare looked, you know, even 20 years ago. It's very different. And this is a different model, but it's really growing across the United States. I was a patient long before I worked here. I mean, my first appointment was scheduled for 90 minutes, and I think I took almost all of it. It's like, here, let me tell you my life story. We do 90-minute uh, visits initially uh, to get to know the patients and establish relationships. Trusted care is everything. Be seeing one provider who knows your whole story and um, kind of goes uh, harken back to rural medicine where you know your community. You know, when I first got into family medicine, I was working at a rural health clinic on the community that I grew up in. It was kind of like my dream job, always wanted to, to do that. And it was an honor to be able to serve, you know, my fellow community members and neighbors, basically. I began to see that there was this common thread for providers who had been there longer, this hardness that began to develop in them. When you take a person's purpose in their life and they spent, you know, 10 years, 20 years of their life getting ready to dedicate their purpose and then they get into it, they find that their purpose is being crushed. It, it like crushes who they are. In a traditional model, they have to see twice as many patients and, and push them through kind of like, I don't paddle almost, you know love the fact that insurance isn't involved because in mental health therapy you really have to slap on a diagnosis to be able to treat people and you only get to treat them for a certain amount of time but with direct primary cares model you really get to just see them as long as you want as long as they want as often as they want and you don't have to diagnose them with anything unlike traditional models we um, take care of your needs usually the same day or the very next day whether it be in person or um, through telemedicine, through video. Uh, we, we have those means and we've always had those means. From a patient's perspective, people feel cared for and it delivers patient satisfaction scores at 95th percentile nationally. So it, and no wonder, we're just spending time with people, hearing their stories, and, and we have the liberty to, to do that under this model. And um, that's gonna lead to better health outcomes and it's well worth I think the monthly payment, in my opinion, yeah.